Hmm. That might make things a little trickier. Uh, we'll have to think things through, I suppose. Let's burn all these Silva Savantos. And actually, that was only two golden servants. What are those? Hang on. What are those odds of, out of 11? Yeah, 11 10 spins. Only two golden servants. That's got to be some slim odds there. I feel. Also, I'm almost full on craft essence. That's kind of hysterical. Don't have enough for the summer thing. Darn it! That's how it sucks. Okay. Um. Pretty average. Luck like yesterday was pretty darn good. It definitely sounds like it. I mean, considering how much you put towards getting MP5, um, Cast Nero, you know. I really shouldn't be surprised that you're running high on the luck right now, there, Misaki. No, no, I, did I say Malter? I meant Nero. But yeah, NP3 Malter is still not bad. Uh, really quickly, because very mild a bit of OCD on this. Summer Fran. That's skill level two. Then there is Helena. Thomas Squirt and Nero. Your banner was rough for me, so you stopped at MP1. Gonna try again next year. And I'm sure next year you'll succeed. Just like next year, Misaki will have NP5 Multer. And MP5, whatever the banner servants for part 2 are. Where? Rider, Rider, Rider. Excuse me. There we go. And now, all my servants are skill level. Dose. Alright. I unfortunately do not have the Quartz nor do I have the um, embers to power Salter up. What we can do, however, really quick. Is get this up. Awesome, awesome. And we can do an Astolfo one now. There we go. Alright. That will help out with that farming. Uh, all in all, not a terrible haul insofar as these CEs. I still have a little bit of part one farming to do, so I could always get this one uh, max limit broken. But yeah. A lot of the Sanzong ones. And I mean a lot. Not so much of the lower star ones, though. Which is kind of surprising. Alright. But, let us change the name of the stream, since we are no longer rolling for Malter. Oh, didn't mean to click that. It is... Death Jail Summer Escape. Feels bad I came in too late. Aw, oh, Super Sim. Yeah, you just, just missed the end of the rolling. I got all the summer stuff except for Raiko. I got Max Limit Broke of the 4 star, 1 of the 5, 4 of the 3 star CEs, NP1 Helena, and NP1 Malter. Granted, I don't have the stuff for Malter, but you know... You know, you got everything except for Nito and Nero. Ooh, 
Nito's actually okay, and Nero is Nero's pretty nice as well. Uh, let me make sure that updated, and we are going to be starting part two of the summer event. So let's get this party started, because I'm tired of keep of AP going a little bit to waste. Ooh, MP2 made altar. Congrats, Super Sim. That's awesome. And a Zerkalot. Nice. And a Waver. Nice, nice. That's some good rolls there, Super Sim. Very good rolls. So, Prologue under arrest. Um, let's go Malter since we have this squad ready. And, you know... Throw King Joker Jack down there. You know. 480 for Maid Altar. Got her on the 300, within 300 quarts exactly. So, you know, not bad, all things considered. Spent 330 total because I threw an extra 10 spin in there at the end. But nothing special came home, so, you know. Actually, should I go plate or other here, do you guys think? Should I go plate, um, noodles, or coin? First copy, 400, and MP2 in the last roll at 480. Very nice. This is instant noodle. Let's change the name here. Just getting a little bit OCD again. Instant noodles. Highest bonus in currency. You're not wrong. I think that'll probably be instant noodle, but let's clear here because we don't have Adam anymore as a point of order and this one will be scrap because the scrap is more prevalent at the moment event bonus cast Nero and then not bonus because waiver is always good then we want to start working on the lower bonds so my own malter Fran and Helena. And then throw these on them. What will our plus here be? Probably pretty decent, actually. Plus 21 to single candy. Okay, that's pretty decent. Level my altar pretty hard considering QP poor. Level 84, 666. I had to farm for QP just for experience eventually. Nice. I unfortunately put most of my resources into Nero, given the fact that she's 10, 10, 6, level 90. But, you know, eventually, eventually Malter, she is next in queue. So, there is that. And with the amount of QP that can be, or not QP, but the amount of embers that can be gotten from both events, she's very likely to reach the point. Well, that was certainly not at all pleasant. Are you all right, salty maid? You have not concussed, have you? Of course not. Any driver with her salt knows to wear a seatbelt at all times. Still, I never expected my seatbelt to tear and then to be thrown from the vehicle. At least it seems the other teams are in similar predicament. Uh, I feel dizzy, but I'm okay. So Victor's girl is safe. Thank goodness, I guess my decision to revert to my standard form for better shock absorption paid off. Not for me, it didn't. Getting thrown into this ravine really hasn't done my back any favors. I can tell you that much for certain. How are you, Kyokuku and Bei Long? They're a bit banged up, but they otherwise seem fine. Thank goodness. Now I wish I'd learned the technique of Ushuakamaru told me about. What did she call it? 
the reverse ravine drop, I believe. Secret method of descending cliffs on horseback. I believe she used that at Ichi no Tani. Is that the one where your horse uses falling rubble as footholds to break your own fall? That's awesome! I'm always falling off mountains and clouds and stuff, so I'd love to learn how to do that. Oh, Sanzang. Must be the bowels of the earth this time, right? I'm afraid not. It seems we've merely fallen into a ravine. Here, let me turn on a light so we may see better. Hold it. If we need a light, a fluorescent lamp is what we will use. Mm. Let's just use both fists, really, isn't the time to be arguing among ourselves? Uh -huh, that generous boulder nearly crushed my head. Talk about rocking and rolling. So just like last time, Shisaiku. Awesome! I'm fine with that. Hey, the, the stream has the reading along tag on it, so yeah, I'm going to read along because I play the games for the story. Rocket, crash landing, bort. I feel like I'm on the brink of unlocking some sealed off memories, but nope, can't remember a thing. Hopefully Lily, the only other saber I let for let get away is doing well wherever she is. Lily? Hmm, interesting. Oh, oh, oh I can't believe an incarnation of horse like me crash like that. No, wait, I'll just say that the god of the inner world is descended upon the earth. Yeah, that sounds good. So, you spectators looking on? No, this is not my fault. I thought I was going to die. From now on, I may need to ensure I never cross another bridge without wearing a parachute. Oh, sha How can I say trash in her name? I don't think it can. Hmm, so everyone is alright. Good. I knew my rivals would not die so easily. Unfortunately, our vehicle is not so lucky. I feel responsible. What happened anyway? Does anybody know? Uh, no idea. Hmm. Everyone, look out. Something is coming this way. I believe it may be the very thing that slashed the bridge to pieces. I'm sorry. Did I? S was was Lobo wearing a little a hat there, and the dude riding him have a siren for a head? Cause that's how scary. Good God. Only fate. Only fate. It doesn't even look human. What is this beast? I feel as though as I've seen that wolf before. What is that man wearing on his head? No, it would seem that it's his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got police on it! Oh, Lobo! Oh, Lobo, Lobo, Lobo! Is that a police siren? Okay, thank you. I didn't want to have to make that noise. I still don't know what's going on here, but it looks like they have a bone to pick with us. Um, uh, this piece has a lovely coat of fur. However, I once strangled the lion barehanded. I'm well accustomed to dealing with beasts. I warn you now that your magic will not work on me, no matter how fluffy it may be. Hmm. This creature feels somewhat different from the one I know. His hatred is lifeless. It has form but no substance, almost as though he is nothing more than a machine that uses hatred as energy. And yet he appears to be more powerful than ever before. What is going on? That wasn't long. That was relatively short. All things considered, at least. Oh, that that was a that was a snap. I just oh, that was a very good snap of the neck there. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Enough making questionable noises. Okay. So malt. Ooh, actually, that's a that's a big boy. That's a. Big boy, Wolf Wolf. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a big wolfy boy there. So, what we'll do here? It's a wombo combo and try and get 
a three-string NP quartet. Yes, I'm aware that makes no sense, but I'm sticking with it. Fallen Demon, ouch. This should be Malter. Nero can have it at any time, I believe. Also, Malter, where where are you hiding that gun? If if you don't mind me asking, you know, but for a friend, you know, just just curiosity. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, let's let's try and push Malter to as high as limits as she can go. Waver is literally ready for NP at any given time. So if we can increase that time to where his skills come back up, which is next turn, that would be ideal. All right. Throw that on Malter. She'll definitely be NP4 here for the final shot. Uh, Waver Blast. Not that I'm sure NP4 will do much of anything, but you know, it's the principle of the theory. Alright. Lobo, if I remember correctly, has an AoE, or no, a single target one, so, yeah. Not that it might matter, so, slightly or sort NP gauge with overcharge, so, she might actually get back to near full here. That would be awesome. You single target, but you don't have to care at all about that? I don't. You're right, I don't, because I lowered his charge, so, you know, ha ha ha. <laughs> exactly, Nero. <laughs> 21,000? Boy, howdy, that's a good amount of damage. Seventy-five K is a lot better. Oh. Okay. There we go. That wasn't hard. I'm, I bet I bet I scared it off, didn't I? Yeah. Also, the CEs did not matter at all. Ah. Uh, uh. Well, I had gotten my arms all the way around his neck. Wait, I won! What? I won. Tarnation. Should have brought Gramps and inflicted death. Then I wouldn't have gotten this. <laughs> Pretty tough, isn't he? <gasps> you... Hey, looky, looky. She's looking good in that outfit. You know what I'm saying, saying. Uh, which summer two servant do I like the most slash least? Um, definitely gotta say that Malter and, um, Cass Nero are probably tied for first place. Just because... Malter is a Saba, and I like the Salters regardless, but Cass Nero, I wasn't expecting her to be anything more than just a good 5-star servant, but you know, she's grown on me as far as personality goes. And the event, they have great chemistry together as well. Um, Fran was a definite, unexpected rise, surge up in happiness 
slash awesomeness. So that's kind of why I put tickets towards Summer Fran because I must say Summer Fran is probably next up, followed by Zerker Nobu. In fact, those two might even occasionally switch spots because Zerker Nobu has amazing attack animations, especially that extra attack. That is so good. So good. Um, after that, there's Nito, who is just, Nito is just kind of there, kind of same with Helena, I don't know, Raiko has a little bit more presence than Nito, I'll say. Raiko's Noble Phantasm looks awesome too, and completely detaches itself from a summer theme. Um, I'll say Nito next, probably, just because she inflicts death, and that final ascension. <whistles> Damn. So I would say probably least favorite would be Helena. So top two are Salter Cast Nero, followed by Fran Nobu, followed by, um, Raiko, then Nito, then Helena. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where I'm gonna put Ishtar, though. Hmm. Hmm. Ishtar? I'd probably place Ishtar... I don't know. I guess I gotta see how her story concludes before I can make a definitive answer on Ishtar. You can be Dave. Hmm, I don't recall meeting such a forgettable character as you before. Oh well, in fact, I don't feel like hugging you just because you're not worthy of my time. You seem like you might just at least know this much. Tell me, what is that thing? Oh, this? This is the very embodiment of what I would consider to be the ultimate attack dog. He's utterly without mercy to anyone who invades my territory. The perfect soldier I created with a form ideally suited to his role. He's the perfect security system. Trump card that even I only ever use once. I call him my deadly on-site groundskeeper, Officer Dog, for short. <laughs> That's his name? <clears throat> Ow! Ow! Stop eating your nipples! hurt like hell. Aww. Sheesh, I don't know how something like made myself ended up being so dense about human language. As I suspected, that creature resembles the one I know in power and form only. Security system? Correct, and a very capable one at that. As you can see, he's so powerful that even I can only barely just control him. However, the other side of that particular coin is that he up and disappears when he's sprung into action. That's a small price to pay in exchange for rounding up all the criminals causing trouble in my land. What was that? Did you just call me a criminal? I, the great Nero Claudius, am prepared to accept being called a tyrant, but I will not stand for being referred to as a merely common criminal. However, if it's a crime to be excessively beautiful, then I must admit that I am indeed guilty as charged. What the hell are you on about? This is my kingdom, the nation of Kanacht. You're the ones who've been putting up weird textures left and right without permission. What do you mean by? Get ready to receive your just desserts. Here's a rope for you, Officer Dog. Oh, just to be clear, I don't mean the kind of rope I use to spice things up in the Bordeaux now and then. Sorry to get you all excited for nothing. <sighs> Temporary drop in performance. Need time to recover. Good night. <clears throat> My body still won't move right. Oh, adorable. Fran is adorable. Okay, all done. Who's a good, hardworking boy? I'll let my Celtic warriors take it from here. Here you go. I haven't forgotten you, meaty treats reward. How do you like Connacht's finest beef? And poof. <laughs> All the little caps. What are you going to do with us? <laughs> Wouldn't you want to know? The answer should be obvious. I'm surprised you even have to ask. There's a perfect place for criminals just like you, after all. Jail. Gonna send sharp eyes to this ravine. Let's hurry, master. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Look over there. 
Alright, I captured all the criminals and had their weird vehicles impounded. Looks like my work here is done. Though the task completed flawlessly, as befits Queen of my caliber. Hmm? Actually, there's no sign of the racers anywhere. The only one here is Maeve. And I don't think she's the same Maeve we know. Who are you two? I don't recognize either of you. Mr. I just noticed something else. Mr. I was here with us just a moment ago, but now she's nowhere to be found. If we tried to fight Maeve now, we'd have been a great deal of disadvantage without Isher's help. Please, do your best not to provoke her. <coughs> um, yeah, just, just trying a hiking route, you know? Brand new one. We're hikers, you know? Hmm, going for a hike in a ravine like this, eh? Well, it's not the weirdest hobby ever. Eh, to each their own. Not really my thing, but I certainly approve of an active lifestyle. You also look to be perfectly ordinary humans, so I'll be nice and spare you the usual arrest and interrogation. Still, I should probably make sure of one thing. You are one of my citizens, right? Isn't there something you're supposed to say to me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Very good. That says that you are definitely my loyal citizens. <clears throat> okay, that was just luck on our part. Like, if it gave us choices, that would have been even better, but I suppose it probably fits the story that we're not imprisoned as well. Is there really a reliable way to test things like that? Yeah, yeah. Anybody else pass by here? You bet I did. There was a group of hooligans running wild all over the place recently. I'm sure you heard their commotion for yourselves. How dare they go and throw a festival without my permission, and a race at that! Don't they know that I hold the exclusive fat patent on war vehicles? Anyway, you don't have to worry about them anymore. I've apprehended them all and sent them away. Exactly the sort of thing you'd expect from your amazing and amazingly capable queen, right? Keep that in mind when paying your taxes this year. Where exactly did you send them? Where else? The detention center at Connacht Castle for those who pose a threat to our great nation. Once a criminal sets foot there, they'll never see the light of day again. Not until the end of their sentence. It's Kanach's ultimate correctional facility, the Utterly Escape Food Mave Penitentiary. The Mave Penitentiary. Mave's prison of sin and despair. Appropriate. Very much so appropriate, I think. Okay. So Ishtar went poof. A Saint Quartz has found its way into our hands. All in all, not bad. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting this environment is. There's a chest. There's... Hang on. Praise. Praise Helix. Praise Helix. Praise Helix. And a legit dino. Giant, not too great statue of Maeve there. Not a bad castle. It looks a little bit like Camelot, but you know, teach their own. Prisoners. This music has a little bit more opera y feel to it, I feel. Not so much rock. What is this place? It seems we were brought somewhere. Uh, I don't know this place. Surrounded by massive walls on all sides and an inexplicable pressure permeates our surroundings. What a terrible design for a courtyard. How was one supposed to relax and enjoy a cup of tea like this? It seems more like a prison than anything else. I think that's because it is a prison. I'd say we've been arrested. Never mind that. Get a load of that giant statue. Lol. The lady's got a pretty high opinion of herself. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I could easily see you building a statue for yourself like that. At any rate, it does make it easy to tell who's in charge of this place. Quite frankly, I approve of building statues like that. The pharaohs have an obligation to preserve our noble forms for future generations to the behold, after all. Having said that, I must admit that this statue is a bit too large, really. Here comes the statue's model now. 
About time you all woke up. This is Maeve's prison. There's no capitalization on this. Connacht's ultimate correctional facility. Huh. It's the Monster Queen. Just so you all understand, you criminals have been arrested for disturbing the peace of Connacht. As if running around putting weird things on my land wasn't bad enough, you wouldn't even went racing about like you own the place. Your crimes are even more wicked than even the land of shadows. In this country, my word is law, so we'll go ahead and skip the trial. Make yourselves comfortable because you're staying here for a long time so that I can see that you're formed. Correctional facility. Some prison. Some for the right to three meals a day. How long is our sentence going to be? Two nights and three days? Can't be any for nothing fake sabers here. <laughs> Your sentence? As long as I'd like it to be, of course. <laughs> How delightfully deluded you are. Why don't we go along with that when it's just we'll, get all of us against one of you? Agreed. If we were simply attempting to make me laugh, you'll need a Roman joke much better than that. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Very. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't even bother. This domain was built in the very center of my country, and given shape by the power of my authority alone. My rule is absolute. And that rule is manifested in the form of the frizzing fields surrounding this entire area. All well, that is to say, the instant you entered my domain, you had lost any hope of ever defeating me. The best you can do now is give up. <laughs> Not sure what the point of is removing your coat was, but you do seem stronger than we are. More to the point, it seems we cannot use our own powers here. Oh, hey, we're all still recovering from that fight with the Indago. There's definitely more to whatever's going on here. Seems this prison field thingy is draining our power. Naturally, it also serves as a simple way to prevent prisoners from escaping. I sense some strange kind of power coming from your vehicles, so I've got them locked up nice and tight somewhere outside these walls. Basically, none of you have any hope of escape, so you may as well resign yourselves to doing your time. Don't worry, I'll see you're all put through a wonderful reformation program. When you're done, rain or shine, day or night, you'll only be able to say, You rock, Maeve. And if that ends up taking years or decades, so be it. I don't have a particular reason for taking it off. Alright, that's the end of my hospitable warning spiel. Come with me, I'll show you your lovely new cells. You understand how well my prison field works now, right? So don't bother trying to resist. The sooner you resign yourself to your fate, the better off you'll be. Because I promise you, no one is coming to help you. Except for me! Just got a breaking into prison, you know, it's a bit weird. Master. Any ideas, Da Vinci? Very not, I sent one of the surviving drones off in Maeve's direction, but its signal just disappeared. There appears to be an area that's protected by a special kind of barrier, so it must have run into that. I wonder if that's the prison Maeve mentioned. Almost certainly. We need to find out what's going on in there. Great. I almost had to go about it. but mulling over various possibilities, but... No need for that. I'll take care of it. Ishtar? Hmm. <laughs> can't believe this. How could she possibly think this is okay? Why is she confining everyone by team? What was she thinking? Keeping men and women in the same cell? At least for servants, so we don't have to worry about food or relieving ourselves too much. But if we weren't, if we weren't, this would be a huge problem. I understand how you feel, but I'm still a bit taken back about how indigenous you are about it. There doesn't seem to be anyone else here capable of getting indigenous about this, so I feel like I should get upset on their own behalf as well. It's the only other girl in a co-ed team, and she's not yet capable of seeing why this is a problem. At any rate, I still can't get over how thoughtlessly Maeve runs this place. Cell assignments, they're already divided into six groups, so just stick with those. Seriously? I mean, it's not that bad for us to be kept in the same cell with others we know, but it seems really careless on her part. Perhaps it simply means she believes she can manage her prisoners without issue, no matter how carelessly she treats them. And she has complete confidence in this facility and the strength of a prison field. I just say, she doesn't think we pose a threat to her at all. This is the worst possible place I could have ended up after enjoying the cool breeze on my face. She's gonna pay for this. Think she's so ready and willing to fight back? We'll be needing that if we're gonna get out of here. Boy, is that Matama's guidance I hear? Although, if it is, I'm not feeling too good about it. No, I'm not Matama. Who is it? Ishtar?
Oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh, Ishtar, Ishtar, Ishtar. Oh, look, you will doll. Hey, hey, stop that. I'm a goddess, that goddamn it. Watch where you... Hey. Ishtar, is that you? Why in the world do you look like that? Can't you see? I'm in disguise right now. Basically, I divided myself. I don't know if that's a good voice. But I'm sticking with it. This area is really close to Maeve's domain. If I showed up as my normal self, it wouldn't be long before she noticed me and we'd find ourselves in an all-out war. So to avoid that, I divided myself into several simplified avatars. You two are talking to one of them right now. The other six snuck into the racers' teams and infiltrated the prison that way. That's going to be a really weird voice to do. <clears throat> the reactions... There was smirking. Nice, nice. Shock. Kind of caution from Nobu. Utterly deadpan expression from Shahrazade, the worst ser one of the worst servants. But regardless, each and every one of my little avatars is still me. So I see here and know everything they do. It's not really ideal for a goddess like me to have split into a bunch of little avatars like this, but I don't really see any other options just now. I'm still hosting this race after all. So since I wasn't able to stop the bridge from getting destroyed, the least I can do is help all the racers. Now I see, that's great Ishtar. Excellent new way to divide and conquer. Now I can learn what's going on inside the prison and help everyone make their escape. Mm, I appreciate the void of confidence, but I'm afraid it's not going to be that easy. Oh, is the prison really so formidable that you, a goddess, would have trouble with it? In word, yes. It was just maybe we were dealing with. I could take care of everything with a well-placed Angal Taki Galse. But there's another strange signal coming from inside the prison, too. If I go using something all that powerful all willy-nilly, so whatever's in there might somehow interfere. So for now, we should focus on gathering information. We need to gather we need to learn more about the barrier around the prison. About what sort of enemies lurk inside. We can't make a move until we know at least that much. <clears throat> That's gonna be a really hard voice to keep doing. Really hard. Still intro though. More prisoners. More Avengers. Just bring Malter again. Because why not? Keep with the single candies, I suppose. <coughs> No, oh, no thing now. Or this time. Ooh, Carmilla. Hmm. You are very lucky that you get to keep all of your blood prisoners. Now come out. It's time for you to exercise in the courtyard. Carmilla, I certainly would not have figured you to be for the sort who would work for Maeve as a prison guard. What a dull and gloomy role you have in comparison to my idol rival who tried to become a great girl. Oh, say what you will, but this job suits me. In fact, I find it both fulfilling and enjoyable. I am, as you know, on all, all about imprisoning people, and so I do so loathe when someone escapes. More immediately, seeing a pretty thing like you grind her teeth in frustration at being unable to escape is one of the greatest joys I could ask for. As if to prove my point, you've been trying fruitlessly to pry open your cell bars all this time, have you not? I hate to admit it, but you actually got me there. I'd be remiss not to heartily agree with your assessment of me as a pretty young thing, though. You know damn well that we are attempting to escape, that you still open the cell door just like that. I do not know who you are, but you appear to be a noblewoman of some standing. Is that why you come to submit to this maid? Don't be ridiculous. I've never heard of a maid having a higher standing than her employer. What sort of twisted world do you come from that you would even think such a thing? Oh... 
What a fool you are, not even a noble woman can hope to survive without properly appreciating her mates. Nonsense, fear is all I need to keep them in line. Appreciation of any kind is, would be a wasted gesture. Besides, it's not if they have rights. Household servants, prisoners like you, here you learn no more than tools for my use. And with the prison field weakening you, it's quite impossible for you to leave. So tell me, you who are too weak to so much as dent your sill bars, wherever should I be afraid of letting you running around the courtyard? I see, in that case I can only advise you to watch yourself when going around corners. Where on earth did she get that? That's a good question. <clears throat> Incidentally, you're free to dress as you like here. Swimsuits are far easier on the eyes than shabby old prison uniforms, after all. As for that doll, well, I suppose you can keep it if you like, though I am surprised you still to have such childish interests. Hmm, there is still something to be said for that. <laughs> better, keep a low pro better keep a low profile for now. Best keep the enemy unaware so their guard will stay down. What? I'm sorry, what, Shusaiku? Did I just read right? You've cleared half of the current event shop. Is it a small shop or something? I knew at the very some sort of property that neutralizes magecraft interference. Indeed, we both tried sending out lightning bolts while the guard wasn't looking, but I'm afraid it had no effect whatsoever. Ah, you refilled a bit. <sighs> it didn't work. Ticked me off. I don't know what's going on. At least we are able to contact the outside world now, thanks to Ishtar, but... I'm still trying to figure out where to go from here. Got any information? I'll take anything you can give me. No tea drops proofs what you're in need of. Ah, I see. <laughs> Good day, everyone. Enjoying the highly regimented prison life? Well, I'm sure you're all having the time of your life now that everyone's favorite Demon King from the Warring States period is here. Once more, I come with awesomely helpful information I got from chatting with other prisoners while we were walking. Naturally, I made sure to exercise my license to kill on every Sibrish prison who refused to cooperate with us. Talk about a mad dog. Maybe a mad sword would be more appropriate. Thank you so much for your help. Anywho, we learned there's a prisoner here who's been around a longer time and nobody messes with her. You're told she's a woman of few words with sharp eyes. The one super tough nightmare prisoner that even the guards don't mess with. Is that so? A prisoner among prisoners, eh? Sounds like someone is with well worth cleaning up. Read, kill off. Lovely. And what would be the point of that? If anything, I bet a prisoner like that could give us all sorts of helpful information about the prison. So, where's this prisoner? Usually, she's kept in a special solitary confinement cell, and is only let out during exercise times like these. So, she could show up at any... say, look over there, she certainly matches the description. I think that may just be her. Female Prisoner 701, aka Scorpion. Oh, Gorgon! Interesting that she's in an event. Strikes me as more of a serpent than a scorpion. Maybe it's more of a figurative name? Scorpions are arachnids, not reptiles, so yeah, she doesn't even look like one. Huh. Huh. That, I can't say I care much given our different attributes, but she's definitely a big shot. But I could have sworn she used to be bigger. Could she be the source of the divinity I sense from outside? No, it's not her. She has the earth attribute and she's a composite entity. No, I know there's someone else with even stronger divinity around here somewhere. Okay, let's try talking to her during the next break time. <sighs> Go away, fly. There's a fly in this room. Newcomers, huh? What do you want? Oh, we're just hoping you could tell us more about the prison. No thanks. Too much trouble. That said, as you can see, everyone around here knows me. So they all keep their distance. And your point is, I feel to see how that has anything to do with our request. My point is that I'm quite a bit bored, as I have no one to play with during my precious exercise time. Not that that's unusual, of course. But today, it seems things are different. If you want something from me, the least you could do is help me and get in a little long overdue exercise. If you lot can satisfy me, I may even decide to listen to what you have to say. I 
understand it's natural to accept by compensation for labor, but having fun with an emperor such as myself would be a luxury for the likes of you. But fortunately for you, I'm most generous. My theory is always open to those who seek entertainment. Come, there is no need to be shy. Once you hear this divine music and heavenly voice, your body will be powerless to resist. Soon your lack of exercise will be a thing of the past. <sighs> this fly is very much bugging me, no pun intended. Seriously, no pun intended. Why did the game press just get blocked? That was because I freaking ad or something. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh, this... Oh, this battle. I don't know. Oh, this battle's gonna be a tough one, you know? So, so very tough. Look at all that HP. I I don't know if I'll be able to take her on, you know, everybody. She's she's a toughie. She is a toughie. Mm -mm -mm. Maid, I need you to uh I need you to build your MP. Your MP might be the only way to survive this. That's enough. Stop pummeling Nero. Ah, uh, is it enough? No. It's just barely not enough. Lovely. I did the math wrong. Sadness. There. The flap is n flap. The fly is now trapped underneath the pop bottle. It will not bug me anymore. All right. How long is this guts gonna last for? Five turns, one left. I may as well. Cause there's no kill like overkill. Overkill is the best kill! <laughs> but, uh, Shisaiku, if you're farming proofs, what exactly node are you farming? Like, what are the, um, various node drops? As far as maps. Because I still have the part one free quests open because, uh,. Uh, Raiko and Helena both drop proofs, which are solo currency notes, which is insanely good. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, a heart. Nightingale? Hey guys, still welcome, welcome. Got Darth Malgus armor set on Star Wars The Old Republic today. Oh, Star Wars The Old Republic. That's the more RPG-like one, isn't it, guys, Stalt? That's like before Jedi Knights, Jedi Academy or something. It's a lot more RPG-heavy. You can, like, choose your story in the end or something. What's going on here? 701 newcomers, I don't know what sort of sport you're engaging in here, but it looks incredibly dangerous. Would you stop it right now, then let me examine you. If any of you are injured, I will have you come with me to the infirmary immediately. Don't worry, my infirmary is far stricter about keeping patients in bed than solitary confinement. That's also more effective than the scaffold that silencing patient screams. Now let's take a look at you, shall we? I hate dealing with her. I suppose we better call it a day. Neither I nor the newcomers have any injuries whatsoever. Stay away from us. Is it true? I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. Well, at least I was able to kill some time. See, well, they fired up for someone who's just killing time. In fact, it looked more like you didn't even care if you died when fighting us. 
My, my. Here I took you for a berserker. But it seems you're not as dumb as you look. You're right. I was fighting in desperation. I was determined not to let the battle end until I was dead. In fact, didn't you see me disappear while we were playing? Game takes place so before Jedi Knight was made in 2011. Oh, the MMO one. Okay, okay, okay. I think I remember now. I think I remember. Okay, gotcha. The one. Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm getting memories now. I'm getting memories. There's another Star Wars game that I was thinking of then. Okay, but that's cool. How rare is that armor set? Oh, I missed some dialogue. Yeah, we did. I am confirmed your spirit origin was gone. Yet you're still here. How's that possible? Cause that was merely a copy. In fact, we're speaking to a copy of you even now, aren't we? Your real body is kept somewhere else. You are nothing more than a projection of sorts, an extension of your real self. Well, well. I thought you were nothing but a bunch of fools. But it seems there's at least one woman of proper lineage among you. Though I can't say I'm a fan of that lineage being tied to some god of thunder or other. Knights of the Old Republic. That's what it was. That's right. That's right, guys. So, why did this gotcha, gotcha sound like gotcha? Think you actually want to continue rolling, don't I? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. My eye is totally not twitching right now. Well, no matter. It did keep me occupied for a while. So, what is it you want to know? Anything you can tell us about this prison, of course. Especially the outer barrier. Ah, uh, so you're plotting a prison break? I like that. Not the plan itself, mind you. But what will happen afterwards? That should certainly keep things interesting. Very well, then. Feel free to ask me whatever you like about this place. I will tell you anything you wish to know. Oh, really? What if I want to know your three sides? <laughs> so it's not possible to destroy the barrier from either inside or outside, huh? It's a very powerful construct. It's as important to Maeve as Kamach herself. Itself. Okay, the barrier would disappear if we were to kill her. But that would be quite difficult for us to do now, as the place denies us our powers. Even if the Master were to attack her outside the prison, it would be all for naught if she managed to run back inside. Uh, not sure what we should do. I grow tired of this dull information. Discussing negatives will get us nowhere. I will share something positive. Anything will do. Agree. Let me ask you this. What could we do that would give us the best shot at getting out of here? I mean, aside from serving our sentences, however long those would be. If we're speaking strictly of possibilities, then your best option is to break out of the prison yourselves. In other words, we'd be right back where we started, huh? Well, I suppose it's sort of reassuring to know it's the only option we have. But how are we supposed to do that with the bear you told us about keeping us trapped in here? Well, as it happens, it's the only thing keeping you trapped here. You see, Maeve is super confident in her prisoner field. She failed to pay attention to anything else. And that means she still has blind spots. If you could find a gap in that barrier, somewhere it doesn't reach, or maybe just a route the wardens would never expect you to take, then maybe, just maybe, oh, we could escape? Mm, blind spots, huh? Now I see. So you have hope now. Good. I don't have any hope of breaking out of here myself. But watching you all try should be interesting. It's enough exercise time. All of you line up now. Those of you who don't, I appreciate your willingness to provide me with fresh blood. I'm being kept in a special kind of solitary confinement cell. 
It's rare that I even get to send a copy of myself out into the courtyard like this. I doubt I'll ever see you all again, but I'm sure I'll hear rumors of your exploits. Good luck against Maeve. I hope you cause her all sorts of trouble. All the commute commotion should at least keep me amused down in my dungeon for a bit. There you have it. Now we have a clear idea of our plan of attack. So instead of trying to destroy the barrier, we need to find a crack in it and break everyone out, right? Right. So now that Ed's settled, let's go ahead and take care of business. First, I'll link up the visual feed from each of my avatars to the recent stadium stream so everyone can see what's going on inside the prison. Why would you do that? Oh, come on, isn't that obvious? The Easter Cup isn't over. Prison record will just be the next leg of the race. Of course it is. Of course I am. Just because I didn't see this coming doesn't mean I gotta reimburse everyone. How else am I gonna please all those foes eagerly awaiting the checkered flag in front of the monitor? This may be a surprise and not the way we wanted things to go, but come on, let's make some lemonade here. Hey, Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anything to turn a dollar, huh, Ishtar? You got it. When you get down to it, life's a competition. Why should a prison break be any different? I'm not letting all the hard work I've put into this ritual go too far to waste. If anything, I'm more dedicated than ever. Uh, I did. I got both of them. Just got Fran today. I've had Nero for a little bit. So here's what we'll do. We'll get each team to try and escape before the others. Once they're out, I'll have each team require their vehicles from the warehouse outside the barrier, get back to the course, and burn rubber to the finish line. Admittedly, I'm not quite sure where this will go, but I'm sure it'll make the time it takes each team to escape is reflected in their final results. Oh, and make sure you all get back to the race when you're in your original vehicles, right? I won't accept any of replacements. First single pull, and Nero in the fourth ticket, Fran. Very nice. You want Helena? Ah, that banner just dropped today, Wabafet, so you know. Get to farming and get to rolling. So she means for us to out with the other teams rather than cooperate with them. She has a point. We poured everything we have into our respective vehicles to come this far, and our competition is surely fit for an epic. What a waste it would be to stop the race just because we've all been incarcerated. Still want to help him escape, but you know, I agree. It's hard to just stand back and not do anything to help. What are you talking about? You two are going to be the team's secret weapon. The racers have just about nothing at their disposal right now, you know? So I'm definitely going to require your assistance. So you'll just have just as much role to play here as you have for the rest of the race. Now as for how you'll be assisting... Moriarty Buster, Helena Arts, AoE, and everything except their class is different. Power your Ariel, whatever you want. You know, to each their own. And there is always next year as well, where Wobbuffet will have a chance to get the Helena he desires. Alright, and more Saba power, or Salter in this case. Yeah, this is more opera feel. Escape one hope under the ground. And that wasn't too long of an intro. Okay, that's adorable. That's adorable. That's an adorable little um, icon. Rip off. Don't be silly. That was 100% a Celtic design. Make no mistake about it. Now then, the warden's day starts bright and early. I don't know exactly when she gets up, but it must be early, because she's always yawning. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I guess I better get up now. Oh. She's the prison warden and the queen of Kanach, so Maeve is definitely the busiest person in the country. Her time sleeping in this very bed to rest up for her exhausting days is a critical part to her routine. She never deviates from that routine. She even wears the same thing every day. What does she wear to bed? Why, Gabrielle number five, of course. I'm doing this voice because I have no idea what her, who is narrating this, so I'm narrating this. Also, Maeve wears things to bed. You know, just saying. 
Maeve seems the sort to, uh, to go to bed, you know, in as little as possible. Just, just, you know what I'm saying. First thing every morning, she changes out of that. In other words, she takes her morning shower. <laughs> when she put on press for shoes, she dons the Queen of Cots' most formal attire. Combat fatigues. There we go. What? You think I'm giving you bad intel? I'm not. It is our formal dress. It's both practical and reflects our personal tastes. Ooh, that's rough, Shoe Saiku. That's rough. How much quartz you got left? Celtic Warriors, Celtic Warriors, get ready. It's time to go to work. Understood. You rock, Maeve. The traditional Connacht affirmation. But since she's always wearing her formal attire, would end up making it a bit less special. She makes sure to put on a coat over it before heading out for the day. So I'll make to herself all the while, she pulls her coat around her shoulders and orders the men to go about their preparations for the day. Surrounded by her adoring public, she closes the door, absolutely beaming with her usual winning smile. Alright, time for another great day of ruling. Okay, I gotta admit, while she's evil, I like this Maeve. I definitely like this Maeve. I can't really help you since we're on different teams, but I'm sure you won't mind if I pry a bit. Have any of you found a new rat out of here yet? I'm afraid not. So there really is nothing we can do. Here I was hoping someone would help me out Genji style since I carry on the Tiger Clan and all. Are you whale at Shusaiku? Nope. Dolphin! Oh. At Shusaiku? Or at me? When I showed my, my mirror, he just answered whale. Oh, did you? Hang on. Hmm. All right, all right. I, I, I can see why he would think you are a whale, because you know you got them in single pools, and most. He removed it. Ah. So that is some pretty darn good luck there, Wabafet. Pretty darn good luck indeed. Nero is definitely a top tier servant, and Fran, Fran is awesome in my opinion. Yeah, you're not wrong. I can't speak for Oshuakamaru, but I have little animosity for the Tyra people myself. How can that be what you're worried about right now, that we're faced with far stranger things at the moment? Are you trying to ignore the reality of our situation? Which, whatever I was expecting when they let us out of our cells for absolutely compulsory special information program. This wasn't it. Uh, weird. <laughs> really? Really? Quetz, huh? Oh, how to do Quetz accent. I think I did one back when I was doing Babylonia on stream, but I can't remember. That was so long ago. <sighs> let's think, let's think, let's think. Hmm. Okay, everyone, now that the sun's shining and bright, it's time to get back to our fun training to help you all become proud, liberated warriors, yes? Come on now, step lively. Make sure to keep your pace with the tempo, yes? Uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres. So that's what the other strange divinity signal was coming from. Um, what are all those things in front of the prisoners? Why are they climbing up and down on her command? Those look like the coin post from a boxing or wrestling ring. You can't even see a ring like that over there. Hola, you must, you chicas must be the newcomers, huh? Nay's told me all about you, yes. I don't know what you all are here for, but you don't have to worry, no, no, no. By the time you're finished my grueling training, you'll all be luchadores and luchadores. Exceptionales, yes. It's a great thing about this prison, we make sure to rehabilitate all our prisoners so that are ready to return to society when their sentences end. That said, I don't know if it's cause I'm too rough with these youngsters, or if kids these days don't have cojones they used to. Cornes. But so far I haven't found a single person who could earn their graduation mask. 
You want Nito, Base, or Summer, Wubba Fett. And Quetz does get Christmas form next year. 2020 is Christmas Quetz, where she literally becomes a luchador. But that just likely means that her chances of a Summer Servant are low. As for Cha-Cha, given how the memes go, I would not be surprised if she gets a Summer form before Okita does. Being completely honest. You know, there's something I've been wondering for a while now. Do goddesses perhaps have an inordinate amount of free time on their hands? Don't be silly, prisoners are evil and I'm a goddess of good. That's the best kind of work I could ask for, yes? I remember exactly what Maeve told me right before she gave me full authority to conduct this rehab program as I see fit. So basically, goddess will get more warriors out of this, right? Okay, knock yourself out. How could I possibly turn down a job that would let me legally spread the glory of Lucha far and wide? Besides, geographically speaking, this place has been feeling very homey for me lately, yes? Oh, that sucks. Maybe from different mythologies, but Quetzalcoatl is still a god of Venus, so she gets her authority from the same place I do. Now, I'm really glad I didn't drop an on Galta meteor down on this prison now. She will just cut it and toss it right back at me. Oh, what to do? What, what do I do now? She may look like an airhead, but she is technically a goddess of wisdom. Mm, what's that little thing you've got there? Crap! <laughs> Aww, mini Ishtar is a doll. Oh, well, that's okay. It must be some kind of little doll that's all the rage now since you all have one, yes. I just love girly things like that. But I have to say, if you're going to carry around a doll like that, you might as well make it a cute one, yes? That thing looks as just as repulsive and evil as Tezcat... I... Tezcatlipoca. I'll remember that, you damn me. I guess. Whew. Okay, then I think it's time for our sparring sessions, yes? You need to learn how to whip up the crowd from the top rope. How to achieve a beautiful top angles, and above all, how to take a fall without hurting yourself. Once I've pounded each and every one of those things into you, you'll all be outstanding lucha warriors, yes? Looks like there isn't a single decent god in this entire prison. You should be like the guardians of the underworld, whose only role is to suddenly watch over their charges. How contemptible. Uh oh, a big scuffle in a instantaneous ring like this, eh? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I've always been a big fan of sumo and stuff. I'll make my entrance from the eastern rising sun corner, Nobunaga. A tope with warring states. Make sure to get to use my new signal. Atsumori on the rocks for my entry song. Oh, Nobu. Nobu, Nobu, Nobu. How silly she is. <sighs> oh, that's another servant that'll be in between. Hokusai and, uh, and, uh, Scotty. Okita Alter. I can't believe I forgot Okita Alter is going to be next year. Completely forgot. Oh, well. So we forgot. It happens. And I am yelling. And dictating everything I do. Blinking some yawn out of my eyes. Oh, nice crit there. Uh, this is now definitely Noble Phantasm ready to go. I imagine it's Quetz we're up against here. Am I right or am I right? I am right, and she does not have those dreaded break bars. I wanted more made altar, but this will be fine. <sighs> yawn, 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 yawn. I must be tired or something. I really do like Malter's MP. I really do. 
I gotta do some damage comparisons now, actually, comparing Kintoki and her. Hmm. I know somebody linked me to a chart with damages based on rider class servants, but I can't remember who. I don't think I have the link anymore, and I don't remember the damage comparison of MP1 Malter with MP5 Kintoki. Ole, you did very well for your first time. The future of Lucha is looking bright as, sun, as the sun now, yes. Okay, everyone, when you s see you tomorrow, I'll make sure you get plenty of protein in your dinner. Everyone who's injured, raise your hand. Actually, never mind. I've already spotted those of you who will be injuries. No drinking hide from this nurse. You know, fall of 10 centimeters can be lethal. Attempt to decline a corner post where you're injured as the height of folly. If I have to, I'll knock you down with my own signature avalanche move to prevent you from getting on top. Oh, thank you, Shusaku. Much appreciated here. Alright, that's enough. All of you return to your cells. Those of you who refuse, I shall take that to mean you have special feelings for me and want me to do unspeakable things to you. That would make you quite the masochist indeed. Alright, so quick single target at NP1. If you stack skill 3 is 63,000 compared to Kintoki's 55,000. Wait, what is S? Oh, that's with special effects. So, without special effects, her Noble Phantasm is a little bit less than Kintoki's. Hmm. Interesting. Special effects is that you can stack her third skill. How do you stack it, though? Hmm. So, basically, the only ones keeping tabs on us here are the Oddballs and maybe the Fickle Warden. And thanks to my genius level observation skills, I have already deduced the timing and pattern of their patrols. Oh, three turn cooldown. Tomomo, Atlas MC. Ah, that's right, that's right. Okay, I get your. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Okay, that's some pretty good damage, then. With this, with the buff, it's a eight no a ten thousand point damage increase, <clears throat> which does set her over. Actually, stack it up to three times. The calculation includes two. Okay, I don't have Tamamo. I only have the Atlas Mystico, so I can only stack it twice. <laughs> Unless I use the support Tama. These are indeed holes in their defenses. The question is, how do we take advantage of them? Unfortunately, my lightning is not capable of making a hole in either the balls or the wills. Not only this place up our strength, but its walls are thoroughly protected by some kind of magecraft. I know the prisoner said the prisoner field was only the king keeping us here, but I guess there was too much trouble that that would otherwise be easy to get on our cell. Hey, good timing. You got a transmission from Masterly outside. He says, this is no time you're feeling sorry for yourselves and wants to know if there's anything you can do to help. Good point. Getting an outside perspective from Master is important. Might even be able to come up with a fresh new angle. What do you like? To, would you ask if he has any ideas how to escape? Guess I could borrow yours. I could indeed. I mean, I do have Tama Lancer and technically Tama Cat. I just don't have base Tama. That's the critical question on everyone's mind, isn't it? What do you think, Master? Chip, chip, chip away at the walls. It's very specific. Did you see that in a movie? I'm not sure what that would accomplish, but I knew you'd come up with something, Master. Let's see what the others have to say. Oh, Mash. Oh, I just want to hug her even more after watching the episode zero of the Babylonia anime. Oh, that was so nice. I like we got the shots of the other singularities, too, but... Oh, the backstory with Roman that we get, too... Roman, I miss Roman. <laughs> and Mash had such a cute backstory too, and sad. <laughs> so basically, he wants us to break out of here physically. I don't know if that'll work. So if that's Master's idea. I just can't admit it out of hand. I might as well start by seeing what's behind the plumbing with my Nobu Toei. Ha! Boom! I'll be. I should have known I could do it. Now the theory for how I broke out of the Hanoji, well, it went up in flames, makes sense. Uh, I made a hole. When I hear my dumbest tunnel, Tom, Dick, and Harry, 
I shall keep the dirt we dig out in my pockets until we can dispose of it. If only these were brand name trousers. Alas, oh poor Papa M. Oh my, oh my, this must be due to Master's good karma. I shall have to give him a great big hug when I get back. Oh, um, <clears throat> okay. Well, I knew Master would come through. The advice was as kind and modest as the moon dew on a bale laurel, while also being exactly what we needed. I shall have to give him a reward for this. So think of something you would like to see disappear. Oh. Oh. Um. Hmm. 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 Oh, cleaning up. Okay. 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 Uh, my mind. Okay, my mind. You guys can know where you guys know where my mind is. Oh, you know where my mind is. <clears throat> Cleaning up is my specialty. No matter what or who it may be, I shall wipe it away with a single strike. That's what I would expect from an ally of the pharaohs. I can't believe that a single piece of advice was enough to turn things around. Yeah, I can't believe it. We actually made a hole. I guess this means that in spite of all their protections against Magecraft, they neglected more mundane physical maintenance here. Seems like it. It's incredible, Master. It seems to have worked in a different spots for each team. For some, it was under their beds, others behind the plumbing, but everyone still managed to make a hole they can escape from their cells. Yeah, that was grasping at straws. It still will be enough to get everyone out of the prison at once, but it should let them all sneak under the floor. I guess the next step is to start digging. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Quick before the hyenas come. Indeed, it's possible the prison field doesn't reach from the ground. That would seem to be the most promising weak spot in the barrier, according to that scorpion woman. Might take some time, but right now that looks like her only shot. So we're gonna diggy diggy. Yeah, too bad we can't help them. I figured you'd say that, and in fact, I've already got a lead. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Look, you and Mif have already met, and she thinks you're one of Kanach's citizens, right? And we know she's so confident in her prison field that she hasn't bothered to show up security anywhere else. On top of that, we're dealing with a prison, and thanks to our investigations, we know it's a system in place that we can use. Put all that together, the answer is obvious. You're going to use that system to bring the racers what they need, namely... Contraband. We're smugglers now. Well, now I've seen everything. Come on, get up. You have a visitor. First woman the guard brought to see me was taken back when she saw my face. It wasn't long before she started to smile. She drew closer to me. Of course, there is no way for us to touch it. Set of a glass window. There is a thick barrier right in the center of the room. Looks like the prison field splits up the visiting room right down the middle. There is no possible way for the prisoners to climb over it. However, there is also nothing to stop us from passing them a tool or two when the guard isn't looking, is there? No, there isn't. Her eyes ask me what it is. I respond by returning her gaze and nodding. That should tell them all they need to know. That they won't have to fight this battle alone. This is how Master will be helping you break out of here from now on. Okay, looks like everything is set. Who is it we look we stare into the eyes of though? <laughs> Who? I can point you to where your vehicles are being kept, so don't worry about getting lost. There's only one thing you all have to think about. Making your way through this cold earth to the reclaim the freedom taken from you so you can pursue your promised glory on the outside. Now get out there and dig for all your worth. Prison break race section of Ishtar Cup has officially begun. Wow! Okay. So then, what do we have? Critical Star Spoon. Calorie Meat. NP Hammer. Hmm. Wow, there's actually not too much left. Praise 
the helix. Hmm. Interestingly interesting. Alright. Check the event shop out here. Same as sort of last time. Helena is the bronze mats. Okay. Raiko is gold. And then who is silver? Nero and Malter are the silver. Okay. So Nero and Malter it is. Silver is the noodles. Okay. But I'm going to help Malter escape here first. Cheer on the team. Alright, so assassinos. We need casters. Well, it's a darn good thing that you have the proper CE set, Shusaiku. I have to say, though, I'm mildly saddened that you switched the CE off of Mordred, but I understand why you did it. I understand. <laughs> Alright, so we want to go to the instant noodle one. This is plus 24 of those suckas. Alright, so... Crit star spin increases drop rate by 100% for all allies. Increase cheering point composition. Calorie meat increase NP gain by 50%. NP hammer increases NP strength for 50%. As well as the cheer bonuses. Hang on, I clicked 40, right? I did. Your Nero skills are really sad, though. Well, you know, you haven't really had the time to to focus on them, so... That's understandable, man. It's understandable. Don't worry, Shusaiku. You'll get her up there. Nero Fest is approaching. And you'll get the gems and the QP needed. Alrighty, so how do I want to do this? How tough is the last node? I do wonder. Is it tough as nails or fairly easy? And by last node I mean the final wave. Could I get away with only one NP, one NP won't clear it. Gotcha. That is pretty much what I was asking. Yeah, this doesn't seem hard. It is most definitely easier than any of the other ones, simply for the fact that I have effective damage here. That already makes things so much easier on me. And the health is not too bad on these guys. It's actually kind of laughable. You're farming with a full event servant setup. I'm nearly doing that. The only non-event servant of mine is Weva here. And that's because... I don't know. I guess I'm a little lazy. Because Weva is just good. And he does not deserve a break. He thinks he gets break time during summer, but no. Waver, you do not get break time during summer. During summer, you work even harder. No waiver break. You sacrifice the turns for more AP efficiency. I mean, even still, with waiver being there, I can't really think of how much easier I could make it. Because, I mean, at the very least for this, I have cast Nero. Or rather, not so much that. It's more, um... What is the wording I wanted to use here? It's not so much AP efficiency, because the way I see it is this. If I didn't have Waver on there, the only other servant that would be... Well, two servants would be viable for me insofar as summer servants. 
And those servants would be either Tama Lancer or Enkidu. Both of them giving straight plus ones. Neither of them have any real forms of support skill. Okay, Tama Lancer does, but that's beside the point. They're both Lancer classes. Tama's the only one that's able to give any sort of buffs, so... I took a little bit of a calculated gamble here. Waver instead of one additional one. On the golden currency, that's probably going to be a little bit harder, but for the silver and bronze, I should be fine. <sighs> Hopefully, at least. Alright, that was... Yeah, that wasn't a one-turn kill. One MP kill, my bad. Just like you said, she's like you. I never doubted you for a second there. Oh, also, Shusaiku. I forgot to thank you. Your Magia Record characters, good lord, they helped me push through that, um, those final bits of the event that recently happened. That thing was so... Difficulty levels of 60, and yours and mains were just one-shotting the final bosses. It's like, good freaking lord. That was insane. That you just kept soloing it. It was ridiculous. Simply ridiculous. Also, why did I get so few? Did I have the wrong thing on? Hang on. Did I have the wrong squad up? You still have a level 100 servant, though, is the thing. And that level 100 servant helped. Yeah, I had the wrong team. Whoops. Here's the right team here. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. That explains why I got so little drop. Um, You know what? Let's keep cheering here. Go Nero, go Nero, go. Go Malter, go Malter, go. But yeah, your squad is so pow much more powerful compared to mine. I barely scraped by in that event finishing it. And I had to burn all of my saved up um, 50 potions and like half of my uh, full restores. And I don't even have 50 AP is the thing so yeah you were guys were your girls were such a big help just notice that if you got the window in your kitchen and mine open you can smell the pizza ooh pizza yum 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 i had some leftover pizza for dinner but you know pizza's always good as long as it's plain cheese I suppose bacon on pizza's fine as well. Garlic, you know, if you want to spice things up a bit. But other than that, never had anything else on my pizza before. Never ever. But yeah. I haven't logged on today, so I have no idea what to expect. I think there's another event dropping. I believe there's another event dropping here soon with Magia Record, but we got a new event? Okay. More farming! Yay! <laughs> it's a tower event again. Just like the Ren event. Okay. Okay. Uh, as long as that means I don't have to grind. And actually... I do have to say, I think the events are a little bit better for me to get currency. 
You farm event currency with normal quests to do them. Okay. Okay, good. That will help, because I am still in chapter... No, I think I'm in chapter 3. Yeah, I'm in chapter 3 of the main story right now, but... I don't think I've even touched the other side stories yet. But yeah. I managed to, uh... Get the Ayako... I got her fully... Leveled... Or I got her fully... Majaya Destiny gem thinged. I got all of the multicolored marbles that were required. And I got all of the orbs that were in the shop because, you know, orb farming can be hard and annoying. So yeah. I think I got a fair bit. Fair, fair bit. All that I need now is to keep leveling my... leveling them up. Higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. A row is still my best, though. Yeah. I got lots of work to do to catch up there. You and Main are so much higher ranked than me, it's not even funny. But you know, someday I'll catch up. Someday. Also, the sound of the game isn't overpowering my voice too much, is it? I turned it up a little bit because I couldn't really hear it when I listened to the playback, but I'm just not sure because I can't really hear the playback. I can only hear what my voice sounds like to my ears. And the game sound. I don't hear how they combine how well they do, at least. Okay. And boom! Doggo goes boom. Very nice. Lots of umu. Alrighty. There we go. That is a lot better drop rate there. So that's 14 times, at the very, very least, 27. So that's what? 270 divided by half is 135, minus 27 is 108. So that should be 378 from this one thing, at least Probably 381, given that we have two, no, three times four, so that's not a bad amount. That is not a bad amount. That should actually be enough to get me the first of the MASH CEs. Yes. I get my Mashu CE. <laughs> Uh, feel free to take a bath, though, right here and right now. I I won't mind. Alright, and yes, we do, in fact, get a dive to the blue. <sighs> the others are a little bit off. The calorie meat, so 400. Another 4 is 8. Oh, two of those this time. Uh, twelve. Three thousand forty-two. Fifty-four. Ooh, thanks. Uh, sixty-six, seventy-eight, nine thousand of the noodles. And no issues, issues, like we know that. No issues. But 9,000 noodles required to clear this shop. That's not bad. 9,000 is not bad at all. Oh, wait, that Nero doesn't have NP. Never mind. Okay, come on. Somebody's gonna have a max on broken one. Last thing you heard was that your Magio Reco is level is higher than mine. And it is. It is significantly higher than mine. I think 
If I remember correctly, mains is like triple my level, I want to say. Because I think I only just reached 25 recently. So yeah. I have a lot of catching up to do. A lot, a lot. But don't you worry. I'll catch up to you, Shusaiku. And Main, when you, if you eventually watch this, I'll catch up to you. And I'll overtake you. And then my Majaya Reko characters will be one-shotting the bosses for you. Yeah. That'll happen. That'll happen. I can dream. <sighs> Throw in the yawn. But, um, I do think we are getting to the tail end of this stream, by the way. I don't want to burn any apples just yet on this event. And, you know, you were right by what you said earlier, Shusaiku. You are right. The desire for gotcha is still inside of me. I can feel it. It wants me to roll. I can hear it in the back of my head just going, Just one more roll won't hurt. Just one. You have over 200 quarts after all. One more roll will not hurt a little bit. You may even get NP2 Malter. And wouldn't that be nice? It's just whispering sweet nothings in my ear. In the back of my head. And you know... I think I might give in to the temptation. I think... I need to check how many quartz I've got. And I need to check how many fragments I've got. Before I make my final decision here. But I might just do one more roll. Might being the keyword here. Oh, that sucks. That was too close for comfort. Why didn't you kill it earlier? Tarnation. Also, did these guys also drop uh, embers? Because that would be nice if they did. That'd be very nice. But I'm not getting my hopes up. Keep boosting yourself, Nero. I need a Nero. I need a Nero through the morning light. Da 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 Interesting. And Nero looks like she might be the best AoE caster. Huh. Interesting. Name. Hang on. Okay, as long as it's not Shahrazade specifics. As long as there are no special conditions, it does look like Nero Cast may very well be the strongest of all Caster Class Servants. Which is not bad. As far as AoE goes. And then Ilya is the strongest, period. Which is kind of funny. Who's Assassin? Gramps is second! Yes! Only behind Kama. Interesting. Okay, so that answers my question. Embers do drop here. A little bit less on the drop right here. 27 less, at least. So... Charizard can lap, though. Okay. 
Best overall is Shelter with... Okay, so... Best overall damage, Shelter in the lead with... Um, Malter in second place if she utilizes her skill stack three times she outpaces actually wait that's that's weird because Malter is below Skaha in just straight normal damage I guess when she hits MP5 she's technically higher damage but before that not so much that's weird Hmm. I guess overall, get more calorie meat, because it'll be useful. Alright. Um, yeah, melt is pretty high, which is nice. So what I want to do is check out here. How many quarts do I have? I have 283 quarts. And how many fragments can I exchange for? I can exchange for seven. No, I can exchange for a dozen. So that puts set 290. So what we're gonna do is two more rolls. One ten roll on this one, and one ten roll on this one, and then oh wait, free spawn, free summon, free summon. Maybe the angry mango will come home. And that will satisfy my need for the gotcha. Please, angry mango. Please come home. Please, angry mango. Please come home. <laughs> oh, angry mango. Tarnation, no angry mango. Okay. So, I'm gonna do one more 10 spin here, and one 10 spin here. Question is, which one do I do this 10 spin on first? Got them on your alt, but not your main. I have them on nothing. But which one should I 10-spin first? The Nero first, you think, she's psycho? Alright. So, 10-spin on the Nero banner. Here. And we'll see if anything comes home. Or anyone. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. But this will put us down to a nice 230 quarts. Which will mean that I'll... Be justifiably okay to do a single 10 spin anywhere in the future because then we'll be at an even number of quarts not counting when I claim my July because I haven't actually claimed July $80 yet because I've been lazy and doing that I should probably do that sooner rather than later probably should I'll do it eventually Eventually. Probably before... Well, no, I can't say before next stream, because next stream is tomorrow. Hmm. We'll find out. I'll find out. I'll think of it. I'll think of a time. So far, though, this is looking like a minimum roll. <sighs> There's a little gunk on my screen. Ooh, Art of Death. Ouch. That kills. Iron Willed Training. So it's not a minimum roll, but you know. Still nothing amazing. Often Gobla. No lag in this one. Another Often Gobla. Oh, our death is one of the event. Okay, that's good to know, actually. That is very good to know. And then one more 10 spin on Malter to see if we can get her to MP2. Because that would definitely put her above Kintoki. Not that I'm going to replace Kintoki or anything, but, you know, more, more quick the better. Hey, there's that MLB. Good. I can max limit break the three star CE. Alright. 
Savanto Acha Uriel 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 Gentle Affection Scalps, Color of Chaldea, and Art of Death are three event CEs. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got Gentle Affection. Scholars of Chaldea, though, I don't recognize that by its name. Hmm. Is it a Da Vinci rerun CE or something, perhaps? Because I honestly don't know this. The name doesn't sound familiar. Art of the Poison Sinks. Okay, I know I've got that as well. Also, this sounds like another... This looks like another bad roll. Hmm. Maybe this is just purging any bad luck for the future. Yeah, that's how I'll look at this. This is me purging any future roll bad luck. Yes. That is how I'll look upon this. Alright, I'll be sure to check this out. Okay, yes, yeah, so that scholar one is definitely... Yep, bare minimum roll there. So nothing fantastic from that last one. Alright. So, with that bare minimum roll, and so almost two straight bare minimum rolls, I do think it is time to safely call the stream because those were some bad rolls there. That just means, though, that my luck has been purged for next year, for the next thing I roll, and we'll get what we desire. <laughs> my plan hath worked. <laughs> Don't burn Art of Death. Okay, okay. I just need to make sure I've got room for stuff. Cause I mean, yeah. Okay, I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. Leave it be. Leave it be. Shusaku, I will leave it be. All right. And with that, we have dived to the blue. I'm gonna wait to claim that. We will be calling this stream here. So, Malter obtained. Helena also. Obtained not as big of a deal though and uh, Raiko was not obtained one of every CE at least so all in all I will call this a successful roll and Summer part summer 2 part 2 has begun So we will see where this leads us For now though, I've been Solrak Dragon. I do hope that you have enjoyed this stream if you have leave me some feedback in any which way you please if you want to check out more videos by me, there's my YouTube with the same name, or you can watch the VODs on here. But, outside of all that, I do hope you all enjoyed. Have a fantastic day or evening, everybody, and if you have not yet rolled, I wish you the utmost luck.